Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. We are yet again starting some more seeds and today we're going to be starting my favorite, well second favorite thing that I love to grow in the garden and that is tomatoes. We already started my favorite which are the peppers and today we've got our larger varieties. We've got 10 different ones here that we're going to be starting and all of these came from seed swaps except for this one here that I got from Row 7 Seeds. But we're going to go ahead and get these started and as we start them I'll go over each one of these where I got them and a little bit about each variety. Now this year I'm growing way more varieties that I've never grown before. I think only two varieties I've grown before and the rest are all new to me. So I'll let you know which one is the one I grow every year when we get to planting. Before we get started, I just want to show you what I've done to prepare for the seeds to be started. We've got six cell trays here. This one has had two of the cells cut off, so it's now a four cell tray. And I did that because I've got 10 different varieties and now we've got 10 cells. So I'm going to be starting about five seeds in each of these cells. So I've already pre-drilled about a half inch hole, um, five of them in each of these cells for those. So we're going to be planting a different variety in each cell. I've got these four here are for my four beef steaks and then these six here are for my smaller varieties that aren't cherry tomatoes but they're they're mostly paste tomatoes. And I've filled them up with pre-moistened Jiffy seed starting mix. That's my favorite mix for starting seeds and I think we are ready. Let's start with our four beef steaks. All four of these, actually I think three of the four came from one of my favorite seed swaps, the Rare Tomato Seed Swap. I've been participating in that every year for a few years now, and I always get a bunch of new varieties that I've never heard of before and that I don't already have. Um, this first one did not come from that seed swap. This is an ox heart variety called SGT Peppers, and I got these seeds from the Feathered Farm, and she got her seeds from Carmel Bella Farm. And those guys are on Instagram. We've only got four seeds of this one, so we're only going to be able to fill up four of these holes. So I'm going to go in the four corners here. But this is a really beautiful ox heart variety. They're really pretty red with purple, just a really stunning variety. This one is from Hilltop Heige Homestead, and she is calling this one Henry's Bonnie's Best. So you might be familiar with the Bonnie's Best Tomato. Um, this one is from the 1940s that her grandfather saved and grew in his garden for 40 years. Unfortunately, he did pass away um, in the 80s, but they were able to get these seeds and grow them, even though they were in storage for a really long time. Next up, we've got Persimmon Tomato. So this one is from the 2022 Rare Tomato Seed Swap from Matsutake, who I've done a lot of seed swapping with over the years. She says it has really good disease resistant in her garden and it's a beautiful orange color and it looks a lot like a Hechia Persimmon. Now the last of the beef steaks we have is also from the Rare Tomato Seed Swap. It's called Golden Queen and it comes from Nancy WU236. I got these from the 2023 Seed Swap and she says these are 8 ounce to 12 ounce fruits and they're yellow with pink blush. She also says that they're an early variety which is unusual for a beef steak tomato. So hopefully we get some of these to ripen early. I mentioned I have a couple of varieties that I grow every year and the first one of those is called Fertunia and I've been growing this variety every year since 2017. I originally got these seeds from the modern day settler so it is a family heirloom. This variety is very very large and it makes a really good paste tomato um, but she doesn't share seeds of this very often so you probably don't want to try getting them from her but I do have some available so if you are interested and um, we could do a seed swap if you have some seeds to share but I really like this variety so it is a little bit temperature sensitive so it does like a really sunny spot and lots of heat. I usually grow this one in my greenhouse um, because it likes that extra heat. Last year I grew it outside of the greenhouse in a not very sunny spot and it didn't produce any fruit. So if you grow this one it needs lots of heat. Now the next one is 
a variety that you can't get anywhere because I got this one from a coworker. He brought it back from Lebanon when he was visiting there. I think he saved seeds from a tomato in the supermarket or something. And so he brought the seeds back and has been growing them in his garden for many, many years. I'm not sure how many years, but they grow, I guess, really, really large tomatoes. And I've seen pictures of them. You can't find them anywhere. So hopefully when I grow these, I'll post some pictures of how big they get. But we have a little contest going on who can grow the largest of his tomatoes. So I'm just calling it the Shipley Lebanese tomato because that is what his name is. Um, but it doesn't actually have a official name. So it's going to be a little bit of an experiment, this one. All right, next up we have Prairie Fire. And I initially thought this was a paste tomato, but after some more research, I found that it's actually a kind of a large cherry tomato, but it has a look, it's kind of oblong in shape, so it, it kind of looks like a paste tomato, um, but I guess it's not quite as, as meaty as a paste tomato, so we're just I'm going to pretend that it's a paste tomato and plant it with the rest of these, because I want to keep my cherry tomatoes at six, and this if I move this over there, then it would make seven cherry tomatoes, and I only wanted six, so we're going to pretend this is a paste tomato. Oh, and I got that one from the Rare Tomato Seed Swap last year from Julia Demakos on Instagram. So these two paste tomatoes both came from Silver Maple Ceramics on Instagram. He reached out to me because he was interested in the Fertunia tomato, so we did a little seed swap. And he sent me six different varieties of paste tomatoes, and they all looked absolutely awesome and I, I will definitely try them all but I did not have room to grow all six of them so I narrowed it down to these two. This one here is the Salva Terra's Select. It should be ready to harvest in 70 to 80 days and I believe he originally got these from Tim's Tomatoes but some of the other varieties that he also gave me are Federley, Chipola's Pride, Jersey Devil, and Sheboygan. So I will definitely try a few of those next year, but I haven't decided which ones yet. And then the other one that he gave me is called Inciardi Paste. And this one is also an 80-day tomato. And he got these seeds from MI Gardener, which I bought some seeds from this year as well. But this is supposed to be a really rare paste tomato that came from Sicily in the early 1900s. Anything that's rare always gets my attention. Now our last one is one I'm most looking forward to and the only one that I didn't get from a seed swap. This one is a Midnight Roma tomato, which is a really deep purple red paste tomato. Row 7 Seeds sent me about five or six packets of seeds and this was one of them. So I did not purchase these, they, they gifted these to me. I've been wanting to try this one for a while and now I finally have seeds. I may have mentioned this in previous videos, I do a plant sale every year and I've already had people asking me about this one so I'm going to grow extra seeds of this one because I think these are going to sell out pretty fast. These are really a gorgeous tomato. I'm only going to be planting one of these in my garden and the rest will be available for sale at my plant sale probably in around May. Now we're just going to top these with a little bit of extra water to give them a little bit of added moisture while they germinate. And tomato seeds do not require light to germinate, so we're going to go put these in a tray that I've already got set up with some other stuff. We have our germination tray set up here in the grow tent. We don't have our peppers in here quite yet, but it will be soon that we'll get them put in here. But I've already got some eggplants and some late peppers that I started in here. So we're going to put these in here. I've got the heat mat set to about 75 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and put this humidity dome on top to help keep the moisture in there. And we're also going to cover these with a blanket. We should start seeing some germination on our tomato seeds we just started in the next week or so. And next week I'll be starting the cherry tomatoes and micro dwarf tomatoes. I've got eight of those I'll be starting. If you're interested in seeing what varieties I'll be growing, let me know down below and I may do a video on that next week. 
Also, let me know if you have a favorite beefsteak or paste tomato that I may not have grown before. I'm always looking for new varieties to try. And if you want to do a seed swap for tomatoes, peppers, or anything else, also let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.